Greetings, viewers, and welcome to another episode of The Collection Crib. I am your host, Tyler Cloud. Today, we're going to be looking at my four retro Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures, as well as the Turtle Party Wagon, or otherwise known as the Mutant Attack Van. Ugh, where do I begin? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, while it wasn't a huge part of my childhood, I did enjoy the show, and my brothers collected the hell out of these toys. Just recently, I was able to pick up my own figures. These were released recently by Playmates. Of course, they were. Um, they always made Ninja Turtle toys. And this is licensed by Nickelodeon, of course, you know, the company with Ren and Stimpy, Rocco's Modern Life, etc., etc., but this is the classic set here. The four turtles themselves appearing just as though they did fresh out of the box in the late 80s. But they look so much better. They look highly detailed. And I'm going to talk about the four turtles. And then I'm going to pull out the uh, turtle van and show you guys what's inside there. I already own this particular box. I've owned this since late 2021. So yeah, I already put it together. I just wanted to kind of put it in the... Put it in the box just to kind of, you know, make a grand reveal. <laughs> but yeah, let's start off, ladies and gentlemen, with Donatello. The smart one of the group. Got his purple bandana. Got the D on his belt, his long bows. They hurt like hell. <laughs> he's, got his, he's got his, like, brown muscles, brown skin, purple armbands, and that face. <laughs> he just looks so angry. These are like the uh, the comic book style where the turtles don't have pupils, so I think that's kind of cool. They 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 all had red bands, I believe, but yeah, really cool. I was like so angry, and of course his bows would go back here, but I'm just gonna let Donatello Donatello hold them. Yeah, yeah, really cool. Oops. Stand you up, Donatello. And then we got Raphael. So yeah, all these guys were released individually. Um, I think there were like 13 bucks a pop, I think. It was a while ago, a couple years ago, but I like Raphael. His skin is the best. His light green skin just really complements his um just his uh his look. And he's got his red bandana, his you know, angry face, of course. They're all angry. No one's smiling here. <laughs> and of course, he's got his shell. Put his side forks in there, red armbands, uh, red knee pads, got the R on the belt. Really cool. Really cool figure. And of course, every toy came with other weapons, but I put them in the van for some reason. So <laughs> when I pull the van out, you guys are going to see more weapons. But yeah, look at that. I like the side forks. I lost the side, but I can get it back. I can get it back. Raphael, let it go. <laughs> I love the first movie. Uh, one of the first movies of the 90s. Then I then I was born in September. Goodness gracious. Okay, next we've got Michelangelo. Hey, dudes, where's the pizza party, man? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, his skin is a little darker than Raphael's. And he's got the M on his belt. Orange bandana. Um, one thing, though, he only has one nunchuck. My silly cat Zelda got a hold of the other one and, you know, bit the middle here. But at least one survived. And I figure I'd replace it with one of these weapons here. Kind of looks like a weapon slash would hold or something. But, yep. Orange knee pads. Elbow pads. Orange armbands. Uh, similar uh, shell. Except he has four uh, slots to put weapons, which is kind of cool. I think it was for the nunchucks where you can fold them. I'm not going to attempt that. I don't want to break the one I already have. <laughs> but yeah, the, the party dude himself, Michelangelo, a fan favorite amongst Turtle fans. But, I mean, I like Mark... I like Mark... Oh, I can't even say his name. I like Michelangelo, but me personally, I am more of a fan of their beloved leader, Leonardo. I like, uh, where do I begin? I've always liked his voice. I always like, you know, just him knowing what to do all the time and just being kind of the wise one most of the time. And 
Yeah, he's my favorite turtle. I like Leonardo. I mean, he has swords. He's got the most powerful uh, weapons of all the turtles. I mean, the bows, the cyforks, and the nunchucks don't compare to swords. <laughs> ah, Master Splinter, you chose correctly. You know, he was your favorite pupil, so you gave him the swords. I love Leonardo. Raphael, Donatello, Leonardo, and Michelangelo. All Renaissance painters that Splinter decided to name his... Fellow turtles that he found in the sewers when he was by himself as a human. And then for some reason, when the ooze came down and got the turtles, for some reason, when Splinter touched them, he didn't become a turtle. Well, he became a rat, which... <sighs> debate me on that, but that still doesn't make sense. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, as a figure, I think Raphael's my favorite. I mean, Leonardo's my favorite character, but amongst the four, I think I like Raph. I love the red, and I just love the, the color of the skin. You know, not all the turtles are the same color, and I like that. I just love, uh, I love the combo. And Raph, you know, who can forget the first movie when... Uh, he chased down Casey Jones, and he said his famous quote. Come back here! I'm not finished with you! All right, so now let me get the turtles out of the way and let me bring in the vehicle. So let me see here. I'm going to line up the turtles. Just try not to... Oop. Okay, you know what? Everybody, just move aside. And before I bring out the, uh, the party wagon itself, here's the instructions. This kind of shows like all the individual pieces that I put together. Because uh, this, this whole thing is complete. I'm, I'm not going to dilly-dally with it too much on this episode, but I'm just gonna reveal just pretty much how I put it together back in late 2021. Yep, nothing in the back. So now, let us get the potty wagon. As you can see, it is a pretty big box. This was around $40 when I got it in the Christmas time of 2021. Let's see, released by Playmate Toys and licensed by Nickelodeon. Ladies and gentlemen, the modern Retro version, or as far as I know, of the turtle van. Look at this thing. Oh my, where do I begin? Look at this thing. <laughs> Whoops, one of the things fell off. It's like one of the weapons here. Let me see if I can remember where it goes. I think it goes right here. There we go. There we go. This thing is just filled with lasers and... Actually, let me see if I can... Roll the camera up just a little bit. This thing's pretty big. Not pretty big, but just a little too big for my camera. But yeah, foot stinks. <laughs> Lasers, uh, communications. Uh, they stole this from the, the news bus, I believe. And then they just tore it apart and made their own. Uh, that face kind of looks like crying for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah, let's take a look inside this thing. If I can, wait a minute. There we go, there's all the weapons. <laughs> so I'm gonna get a good shot here just so I can get everything in frame. And I'll put the Ninja Turtles up to the side because I'm going to use them in just a minute. So let's see. Donatello, Raphael, Leonardo. Here, let me get all the other weapons. Yeah, the... These weapons came with the individual turtles. And actually, I think I did save the nunchuck. Yeah. There's the other end of the nunchuck, and there the cat got into it. That silly little cat. I love you, though, Zelda. Of course, you can put the, uh, the only two turtles in the front. And then the front of the van can come up. So you can get a good shot of the turtles while they're sitting inside. Yeah, and then one of the turtles will be sitting right here. So let me see if I can... There we go, that should be good. And these things, I'm guessing they're... I don't know what these are. Missiles? Containers? Something they use in the sewer? I have no idea, but they come out like right here on the side of the, the doorway here. But I guess they just drop and release. <laughs> I'll just set these... Little things to the side. All right, so now I'm gonna put all the turtles inside the uh, turtle van. I'm gonna put Leonardo, 
right in here. I'm going to put Michelangelo hanging on the side here on the seat. If I can. Actually, there's handlebars here that will hold the turtles. Yeah, get their arms in the position to where, where the seat is. The seat has these two little uh, knobs here. I think Leon, uh, Michelangelo can hang on too. There we go. And now let's get Raph and Donnie in the passenger and driver's seat while they hold their weapons. <laughs> Don't drive like that. Actually, let me take Donatello's out because his is pretty long. There we go. Raph, you can hold your weapons. Donnie, you're doing the driving. There we go. Let me move the rest of the weapons. All right, look at that. All right, dudes, let's go get Shredhead. <laughs> yeah, the turtle van moves beautifully. It's very smooth. It's not, you know, very, just very nice. All plastic, no metal. I mean, any turtle fan would want this, especially from like toys that pretty much resemble the original uh, Ninja Turtle toys from the late 80s and early 90s. But yeah, so many great memories for turtle for turtle fans. Me personally, not so much, but yeah, my brothers, they loved Ninja Turtles. And I even got the Ninja Turtle DVD uh, box set. Gotta catch up on my Ninja Turtles. <laughs> the first three seasons definitely matter. After that, it kind of gets a little eh. But the first two movies are definitely the most enjoyable. But this vehicle is definitely a must-have for all Turtle fans. And if you can find the uh, individual Turtles still, um, I think it's best to go online for them. Because I think Target and Walmart don't sell them, sell them anymore. I think they're moving on to a new series called the classic series and but yeah this is like a really great set and i encourage turtle fans if they can still find this look for it i i got it for 40 bucks maybe 42 i think i forget what the price was but and each individual turtle was i have to say 10 or 13 so all in all it wasn't a bad investment but i mean like i said i'm not a huge ninja turtle fan if this is all i need this is fine so there you go, Mikey. Why don't you go ahead and... <laughs> oh, God, I'm getting crushed! Ah! <laughs> Mikey, no! <laughs> but yeah, so then you close this up. And then the top hood comes down. And they're off to find Shredder and the Foot Clan. Yeah. What's up, dudes? I keep saying that, but... <laughs> I love Ninja Turtles. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is going to do it for this episode of The Collection Crib. I thank you all for watching, and let's get a few more shots here of the turtle van. See, it's party time! Slam! Bow! Pow! Conk! <laughs> yeah, really cool. I'm actually going to do a little... There we go. We need to uh, put the uh, logo name closer to the turtles a little bit. That's a little... That doesn't look right. But other than that, yeah, the turtle van's awesome. I, I just like the turtle uh, back on there. It looks, like, looks like the intro. Remember the intro? There, the world. And then the thing opens. <laughs> really cool. Whoops. Oh, goodness. No, we don't want that to fall. <laughs> there we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Tyler Cloud and all four Ninja Turtles in their turtle van. And I will see you all next time. Come back here! I'm not finished with you!